happy blissful day to you today how are you feeling today it's a brand new day and you have the choice in how you want to feel so you have a choice what frequency you actually want to emit and produce it's your choice so what will that be do you want to feel worthy and abundant right now because according to the quantum model of reality when you feel worthy and abundant you are generating wealth so you don't have to wait for the money you don't have to wait for the clients when you feel worthy and abundant you are generating wealth when you are trying to manifest a new relationship you don't have to wait for that partner for that SP you just have to feel the love right now for yourself and for love and when you do that you are attracting and manifesting that relationship and that partner and when you feel when you want to manifest perfect health you don't have to wait to be healthy right now you just have to feel whole and complete right now and when you do that you are manifesting that new version of yourself who is now perfectly healthy isn't it wonderful you can do it right now in your imagination now your imagination is the only real reality this reality that you are experiencing right now is just a reflection of your imagination so whatever you assume in your imagination then reflects in your external reality isn't it wonderful absolutely that means that you are the creator of your reality you cannot blame anything outside of yourself you can't blame the government you can't blame your clients you can't blame the economy no 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 you are the creator of your reality if it's to be it's up to you that's right because life does not happen to you it happens for you whatever you accept right now whatever you assume right now will show up later on so i submit to you to take your power back you are not a victim you are a victor that's right so let's get into the video so one of my uh our, our clients you know asked me okay so gabriel how do you know when you've normalized your desire how do you know that you've normalized the feeling of your desire so i shared with her i said when you do not care about it anymore when you simply don't care about it that's how you know you've normalized it so i then said i said think about your job that you have right now you don't care about it and you also do not play, place importance on it the only thing you do is you express your gratitude because you're grateful for you know your job but you don't like place importance on it you know you're not uh, 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 uh obsessing about it you're not uh, clingy you're not desperate you're not like oh uh, like you know worry stressing no 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 you know you already have the job you couldn't care less you couldn't care less there's no importance on it because you already have it now you see you cannot desire something you already have that's right you cannot desire something you already have so what you want to do is you want to normalize the feeling of your desire so when you normalize the feeling of your desire you now one with the desire you no longer seeing it as outside of you or in the future you now have assumed that you are already the person 
who has your desire. And you ask yourself, now that I am the person who have my desire, how do I feel? How do I think? How do I act? And you feel that way. And you make it normal to you to say that, of course, this is my norm. It's my norm. Let me give you an example. So I wanted to test um, robotic affirmations in our coaching business for our digital products. So I said, okay, we make thousands of dollars a day. We make thousands of dollars a day. And I repeated that 10 times. Oh, sorry. I repeated that um, three times a day um, at 10 minutes intervals, 10 minutes in the morning, 10 minutes in the afternoon, 10 minutes in the evening. I, I did it for about, say, three, four weeks, right? And towards the fourth week, I just felt like, nah, I had it. I don't want to do it anymore. It's done. And after that, I didn't do it anymore. And by that time, I've already seen evidences of me making thousands of dollars a day. I've seen it like, yeah, waking up to multiple payment notifications, us making thousands of dollars, you know, they even got like an idea whereby we bundle all our products, we sell it for 99 bucks instead of 250. And that just literally, you know, always have us make thousands of dollars a day because it's a no brainer. It's such a good deal. Right. And um, so the reason why I'm sharing this with you is I just felt like I already have it. I don't have to continuously do the affirmations because I already have it. You see how I do affirmations. I do it from a place of already having. I do not do affirmations to get. I do it from a place of already having. So what that means is I remind myself that my name is Gabriel. My name is Gabriel. Everyone knows my game name is Gabriel. So I reminded myself that I have always made thousands of dollars a day. It was just a reminder. And I'll get this. Your brain and your body does not know the difference whether it's real or imagined. It actually takes you as it like literally uh, takes it whatever you say imagine or do your subconscious mind things that you are actually doing it in real life which is so cool now all you need to do is just accept that you are already the person who has your desire and then remind yourself that this is your new norm now you can obviously use any tool technique or method but i love this new method of just normalizing the feeling of your desire because it is so much more fun easier and it's literally Oh man, it, it, you just feel like so freaking amazing. Like I've shared this with all my clients and they're like, whoa, man, this is freaking amazing. You know, so we only using affirmations now just to replace the uh, limiting beliefs. So, for example, we a, a lot of, you know, of our clients that are struggling to manifest their money goals, their business goals. Loads of them have limiting beliefs dating back to when they were growing up, when they were still um, uh, uh, kids, uh, teenagers. Um, like the common, the most common one is that it's not easy to receive money and that you have to work hard because they've seen that for, from their parents. Now they have their own businesses now. Now they also think that no, it's not easy to receive money and you have to work hard. Now, when you believe that you have to work hard for money, you're going to slave your time 
for money. You're going to always grind. You're going to hustle. You're going to, you won't even have time to go for a freaking walk in the park. You won't even have time to enjoy yourself. And when you do go out, it will probably be just to kind of, you know, cope with the stress because you have so much stress of grinding, hustling, working out. You don't even have time just to like listen to your favorite music. The only thing you can think is hustle, grind, work. Now, that's when we use affirmations to literally replace those old limiting beliefs. You see, and then we then normalize, normalize the feeling of already having your desire. You normalize it with your eyes open and your eyes closed. And you install this new feeling in your subconscious mind so that it, become, it can become your new being, your new self-concept. Because the only reason why you want your desire is because it's going to make you feel a certain way. The only reason why you want money is because you want to feel a certain way. Whether that's a car, house, vacation, that's going to make you feel excited, make you feel happy, make you feel free. But you can feel that way right now. Now get this. When you do feel that way right now, you are generating the wealth. You are generating the success. You are generating the prosperity because there is no time in the quantum model of reality. In other words, there is no time in your imagination. There is only now. So whatever you do in your imagination is a done deal because that is the real reality. And what you do in your imagination shows up later in your 3D external reality. Because your 3D external reality is simply a mirror of your mind, your imagination. Your outside world is simply a reflection of your mind, of your imagination. If you do not like what you've experienced earlier on and yesterday, all you need to do is change your mind. When you change your mind, you change your life. So how you normalize your desire is by asking you how would you feel if you had your desire right now and feel that way practice that feeling and if there are any limiting beliefs that are going to show up which it will they will because your brain does not like change your brain loves comfort and it loves safety the moment you try to manifest any new desire your brain is going to say no 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 and your body is going to say nope not so fast i've been in control you have to understand the body and the brain is the master you don't have a say because 95 percent of who we are is a program a subconscious program that's why when you try to quit alcohol caffeine any bad habit uh, when you try to manifest money, when you try to manifest an SSP, the reason why it's so hard is because you have beliefs that are contrary to that desire. And those beliefs are instilled and installed and ingrained in your subconscious mind. It's only when you replace those beliefs with your desirable beliefs, that's when you see the change. The reason why you've struggled for so many years, I mean, you, you guys know I'm always so open, vulnerable to share my, my struggles, especially with my business struggles. The reason why I struggled for so many years just to um, also experience success in my coaching business is because I had beliefs that I didn't believe that, number one, I was good enough. And I also do, I, I, I believe that no money and clients doesn't come that easy. I have to work hard. And I also did not believe that I was capable enough to 
coach and share with, and help other people. Even though a lot of people told me that you're gifted, you got this Gabriel, I didn't believe. And you know what that's called? Imposter syndrome. What is imposter syndrome? It's when you know that you are capable of doing something, but you don't believe it yourself. You feel like a fraud. Everyone else around you tell you that, no, Gabriel, you got this, you're amazing, man. And then yet, you feel unworthy. You feel like a fraud. You see, I've been there. So that's what I'm sharing with you guys. The only way for you to experience lasting, permanent results and success is when you change how you see yourself and what you believe to be true about yourself. So you have to ask yourself, what do you believe about money? What do you believe about your business? What do you believe to be true about yourself? How do you see yourself? Do you believe that you have to work hard for money? Do you believe that money doesn't grow in trees? Do you believe that money is the root of all evil? Do you believe that um, clients doesn't come easy? So all these beliefs are literally running your life, whether you like it or not, because these beliefs are installed in the subconscious mind and the subconscious mind is the driver of your life. It's only when you change those beliefs in the subconscious mind, that's when everything changes. But the beautiful thing is, it is possible and you can do it. And I believe in you. If you don't believe in yourself, I believe in you. Because I know that you are capable. You are more than enough. You are good enough. And you are worthy to live your best life and to experience business success just like us now. And if you may be struggling with limiting beliefs, self-doubt, imposter syndrome, we actually love helping entrepreneurs to eliminate limiting beliefs, self-doubt, imposter syndrome, so that they can confidently manifest their financial business goals. So if you're interested, you can book a free breakthrough mindset call with us because it's all in the mind. When you change your mind, you change your business. Your business is simply just a reflection of your mind. So if your business is not successful, it's because it's your mind. All we need to do is change your mind. All we need to do is just tweak and shift your frequency from lack, struggle, hustle, to ease, freedom, abundance, fulfillment, and joy. That's what we need to do. So if you're ready to shift to the version 2.0 of you, the successful entrepreneur, click in the description for a free mindset breakthrough call. And let us chat and see how we can assist you to cross the line. Because I believe in you. You are worthy. You are good enough and you are capable of doing and having anything you want, irrespective of how big or small. Having said that, keep smiling and enjoy your blissful day.